Hey guys, Wanklu here. I hope all of you are doing well. well. In today's episode of BitX101, do you want to take a look on KiCad, how you can use a couple of these things in KiCad, and how you can potentially change the logo on the design of the PCB. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we're currently sitting on the web page of the BitX repository. This repository, you do need this one on your PC. So if you don't have this one, I do assume that most of you guys have already viewed the previous videos. So just download this using like the zip functionality from GitHub. And then what you also need is a program called KiCad. And I quickly open this up here. I will today not explain to you how KiCad works and how you need to install this. I do assume that people that are interested in this video today do have a little bit of knowledge of KiCad. So I just want to give you a couple of basic ideas of what you can do with it. So first things first, we do click on files and we click on open project. Therefore, I do search in my own PC, the BitX repository. And now the interesting part, I do need to open the BitX Ultra KiCad project file here. Let me open that. And there we go. Now we do have the KiCad profile or project opened and we do see plenty of different files. The first thing that I want to do with you is to take a look on the PCB editor. So let's do this by clicking on PCB editor. This takes a couple of seconds and it will open up this beautiful window here. This looks like a little bit messy and uh, probably some of you might not understand what's going on here, but let's quickly click on view on the top here and let's click on 3D viewer so that we do have a lovely view of the BitX. So KiCad basically is just like a PCB design and routing program that you can use in order to build PCBs, place components on this and then route like these tiny traces between these components that you want to place on a PCB. And you do see that this device here that I do have has the BitX logo, the 204 up here. And I want to go with you over the, just the simple and beautiful step of how we can potentially remove this or move it at the another position or replace it with your own logo. That's the reason why I do this video. I just want to give you like a quick overview of what is potentially possible. We are here in an open source manner. This project is completely open source. You can change whatever you want. And today I want to show you how you can potentially change a couple of things. And I want to start with changing the logo as it is a really, really simple task and it does not require a lot of understanding of what you're doing there. In a later episode of BitX 101, do I want to show you how we can then later on build this PCB with a manufacturer and then also assemble it. But let me quickly close this 3D viewer here. We need to go back to the main menu of KiCad. If this is too much for you guys, so then uh, just simply go back a little bit and review it. It's, it's really simple. KiCad, you get used to it if you do use it. And uh, I just want to quickly yeah, use my image or my logo from my YouTube channel and my personal logo to put it on this PCB. I want to click on image converter and I want to tell you a couple of interesting things here. So let's do that. I load my source image and I do I do use a one dash negative. Uh, this one does have just uh, yeah no uh, naming underneath it, just my my bare logo. I also decrease the size to like 30 millimeters. And then I do use footprint and front silk screen and export to file. Then you do need a folder. You can name it whatever you want and then you place it in there. I called it logo, save it, yes, and close it. Now what we need to do is we need to go to preferences and manage footprint libraries. If I do scroll all the way down, we do see the test is already in here. Let me put this, uh, remove this here. Let's click on this folder and uh, let's open up test and then select this folder. Click on OK. Now we do need to click on add footprint and we search for logo. Uh, there we go, logo, place it. Now we need to quickly take a look on the 3D viewer. It's probably on the back side. All right, let's close this. So we try to scroll in here and select it. Press the shortcut F for placing it on the other side. Now we do click on the 3D viewer again and move it around. And there you do see is my logo. I also could uh, just remove the BitX logo. Let me see this one here. 
let's delete that 3d viewer and if we do move it around there we go we now do have the logo on the front end side obviously you could potentially place it at a better position or just somewhere else. I just wanted to quickly show this to you because I do think it's important and uh, it's lovely to use when you want to create your own PCB, when you want to make a couple of modifications just from how the looks of it is. Uh, we don't want to modify really any of these parts because most of this is specifically designed and packed together so that it does work together. So yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I just wanted to quickly show this to you and give you a glimpse and quick in introduction into this. Also a couple of cool features you have today learned like the 3D viewer and keycard and that you do can take a look on on uh, keycard in general. I do have disabled like all these masks here or these layers. Let me quickly re-enable all of them. One second. The good thing about keycard is you could also use it to actually identify where things are going. Like if you do scroll in, you can see where things are going from the ASIC or if you do have the capacitor down here and you want to tinker around what's going on with this, you do see that a five volt is going over to the fan header. So you do know this capacitor is specifically here for the fan header. So yeah, you just can use it to understand the PCB a little bit more. That's it for today's video. I do thank you for joining in here and watching this. If you do liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further videos. And thanks for watching.